So here is a video about my first prop. It was Alibaba Saluja from Magi. I was drawing out his dagger on this piece of thick foam. I was using whatever I had at the time and that seemed like a decent option so I went with it. I'm just using a marker to trace out the form of the dagger approximately and then took a knife and started trying to cut it out but the foam was extremely thick it took a long time to get that out so I'm trying to uh, slowly get into the foam with the pretty sharp knife. Uh, that's the only one I had, but it worked all right. And then I eventually start trying to cut it out with uh, tin shears or sheet metal cutters. That didn't work too well either, but I eventually got it out. So here I have a smaller piece of the foam with the drawing on it and just cutting it out fully. What I found useful with this thick foam was that once you get a reasonable uh, split in there then you can fold it over a little bit and finish it off. That worked alright. So there is the sword it, in general form. See the foam is pretty thick there. And then here I started shaving the sides off. That was difficult too. Here I was using some uh, sanding tools. So those are metal ones with uh, the plastic handles. They worked alright, but still they just didn't have the abilities to really cut that foam too well. But with enough time, you know, it gets better. So here I had a tip from a friend to use wax paper and then the iron or I think the other option was a hair dryer by itself to kind of flatten the foam a little bit so it's smoother didn't work too well for me but I didn't do it probably didn't do it right it did help so I just went over the dagger form with the iron and all that it did help a little bit and here I'm trying to cut some details into you know the the hilt and the top of the sword I mean dagger that worked alright, but uh, I still didn't get too much detail in there. So here I'm back at the uh, table that I was working at and just cutting out some additional uh, ridged areas. In retrospect, this didn't work too well. The stuff was too thick. You can see it's pretty, it pops out pretty far. I eventually cut that down a bit. But just use some white glue and it stuck pretty well to it. Here I cut out some plastic and made the handguard. Just stuck it in there with some white glue again and it, it stayed very well. Here I am doing the paper mache to give it you know more rigid feel to it wasn't really sure what I should do, but that was another suggested step, so I went with it. And I actually ended up putting two layers, as you'll probably notice once I finish this clip off. So I think this, this was the first layer. Again, you can see the extra detail was way too high to the rest. Here I found some wood filler and I wanted to add more detail to the hilt area. 
that worked out all right, but the wood filler was really difficult to work with. So to make sure that it didn't fall off, I used some white glue on the edges of all of the additional details, and that helped a lot to make sure that you know none of the pieces fall off because the wood filler wouldn't really stick well to the paper mache. There's the finished details. Worked out all right in the end. Here I cut off some of that extra foam detail just to make it fit a little better. And the second layer of paper mache. And again I cut off some of the paper mache on there to flatten out those things a little bit more. Here is some gesso. Got it at uh, a local store. Pretty expensive stuff, but it does work nicely. And then some uh, acrylic paint. I got a few metallic versions. There's the start of the gesso. I did two, I think two layers again on the sword. See, nice and white, ready for painting. In retrospect, I should have tried to sand it out more, but I didn't, so it's not perfect. No, oh, I guess that's the second coat of gesso there. I started trying to sand it. Just, I didn't do too much, but it might have helped a little bit. Those are just sanding blocks with a foam in the middle. Here's the start of acrylic paint. What you do with it, from what I've seen, is that you put it on the form itself. You don't put it into a little bowl or anything because it dries pretty fast. Now, just using a simple foam brush, there is the first... I think that's the first coat. It might have been the final. Yeah, I have the green dot there. So, three different paint colors, two metallic, and then the green was just... I probably should have used some type of additional thing and glued it on, but that works alright. So that's pretty much it. Turned out nice, considering it was my first attempt. Uh, feels pretty solid, it's nice, nice lightweight, and I think it turned out alright, considering. I still need to make the... Uh, Thing you put the sword into. I forgot what it's called at the moment, but probably gonna try something else with that. Thanks.